a bit of a quick review this one um, I took a few photos of it and I'll sprinkle these through the video and a little bit of a video of the plane flying over um, now we have the Opal Grandland SRI hybrid they call it hybrid but it's a plug-in hybrid so it's a PHEV Opal Grandland SRI PHEV interesting name now the Grandland, the blue one I had, the SRI, the petrol, I loved that car. It was fantastic. Didn't have any major issues that I could tell. Um, drove exceptionally well, especially in sport mode. And then they give me the plug-in hybrid version. Effectively the same car. It's got the engine, but it's got an electric motor as well and some batteries. Some AAA batteries hidden in the boot. Um, to be fair, I don't like it. The ride seems harsher than what the other one was. Maybe that's just because I jumped out of the Citroen C4 and into this one, I don't know. But it just it seems a little bit harsher. Um, it looks fantastic, it's white and contrasting against the black um, visor grill and all the other bits and pieces it does look quite nice but just doesn't perform how I expected it to the um, it's got performance you put it in, in hybrid mode it's got a bit of power there and sport mode just like the SRI it was fantastic fantastic in sport mode but there has been an issue and I'll get my editor to splice a little bit of a video I did yesterday on this I was driving along had been a hot day, had the windows down a crack to keep uh, the, it's rare having a hot day, it's 2023, we had a hot day, but I had the windows down to keep the air cool, went home from work, and I'll probably explain that in that video, but you watch, watch what happened, I was driving along, I heard road noise, the window came down by itself, and it wouldn't go back up, well I went back up, came back down, went back up, came back watch the video. So I'm just going for a bit of a drive testing this Grand Land and had the windows down earlier in the day because it was hot. So I've left work, thought I'd go for a bit of a drive and try and get to like this car a bit better. I had wound the windows up when I left and driving along and all of a sudden, been driving for a while and all of a sudden I can hear traffic noise a bit louder and I'm wondering what's going on. And then I notice the window is doing that and I try and wind it up and yeah you know, oh it wasn't doing that before it's been there. I tried winding it up probably a couple dozen times and it's just doing that There's nothing that I can tell stopping it. It's a bit of a worry. Hmm. Went for a drive to try and like this car a bit more. Maybe not. And now it has stopped working altogether. Uh oh. All the other ones are working. Um this one has stopped altogether. Oh dear. Well, I got it closed. I don't know how. I went to drive off. I thought I'd try the button one more time and it closed. Okay. And just to add, as the Grandland SRI did, the, I'm in the Waterview Tunnel right now. This one did the same thing as the SRI. The high beams came on. Why? It shouldn't. Oh, come on, Opal. Disappointed. See what 
I mean? You spend this sort of money on a car like this. I can't remember how much this one is. I don't have the cheat sheet with me. I'll put it on the screen or something. I don't know. You spend that amount of money on a car, you expect it to work and work properly and not do silly things like that. I'm a little bit disappointed in Opal, to be honest. Um, the first Astra we had, the gold one, the SRI, that had condensation in one of the headlights. Granted, the plug-in hybrid version of the Astra, I absolutely loved that car. It was fantastic. Um, I couldn't fault it. There was actually nothing wrong with that car, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I would love to get one of those. But would I? Because would something go wrong with it? I don't know. Bit of a rant, I guess. Not really a review. But, I don't know. Be careful what you wish for if you do want to go and get one of these, to be perfectly honest. It is a good car. But quality and reliability is probably, probably, probably going to let it down. 